Welcome to another episode. My name is Sander and we are at Bonnechere Provincial Park. Stick around and I'll show you exactly what there is to do at the park. Bonnechere Provincial Park is located on the east side of Algonquin. It's about four hours from Toronto. And about two hours from Ottawa. So Bonnechere now also has a system that you absolutely need a permit, but even for your day trip, you need to book it in advance. If you do have a permit, you no longer have to check in. You can go directly to your site, which you know saves the lineup for checking in. So I think this is a good change on the flip side. The days of just showing up and hoping to get a spot without reservations, no longer happening, unfortunately. The other nice thing about Bonnechere is they actually still have an information guide, not just uh, you know the one pager that tells you nothing, so that's nice. So this is our campsite in the Tall Pines campground. It's site number 17. Overall, it's not a bad site. We have some marsh in the background. If you come from the obvious way it's a pain to back up because you just don't have a lot of room there so we just drove around back to Dillon from the other side and honestly that made it much easier to back in but uh, the overall not a bad side. Bonnechere is a relatively small uh, campground but they do have multiple campgrounds within so the first one is Sandy Flats here there's only like 15 sites if that um, they are all non-electric, but uh, let's go check it out. So here are the sites at Sandy Flats. In general, they're in the forested area. They have a lot of privacy, but they're non-electric. So if you want electricity while camping, this is probably not the site for you, unless you invest in solar. I mean, which is possible, of course, but uh, yeah, non-hydro sites here. So we're here. I do want to discuss the following. You can see some spots people put their firewood bags over the post. Now, most park I've seen, the wood fairy does not exist anymore. I know back in the day the park would pick it up, but in most parks that's no longer the case. So, you know, before you put your firewood back on the post, just check with the park whether they pick it up. Otherwise, it's just going to be the next uh, person's problem, which is not very nice. So as you can see, the sites are big, spacious and, and private in Sandy Flats, which is, uh, which is nice. In Sandy Flats is also a very tiny comfort station, but it does have showers. Here's the second campground in Bonnechere, the River Loop. Arguably, it has the best sites here because a lot of them are waterfront. Now keep in mind, they're not electric. This is an example of the campsites in the River Loop. There's access directly to the Bonnechere River. So if you launch your, want to launch your canoe, kayak or stand up paddleboard here, you can do it directly from your site. Another example of the site on the river loop where you have access directly to the river. So for the nicest sites, river loop is definitely the place to be, but again, non-electric, so keep that in mind. So this is the last campground. This is where we stayed. It's the Tall Pines campgrounds. There are about 40 campgrounds or so. They are all electric, which uh, again, if you're looking for electricity while camping, this is the spot to be. This is section two of the Tall Pines. There are several sites here and it's at the other side of the main road here. Now, word of caution, when in the Tall Pines, some of the streets are pretty narrow. So just keep that in mind when you go around, uh, specifically with your trailer. Just take it slow, take your time. While parking or backing up or getting to the campsite, you should never be in a hurry anyway. Behind me is the comfort station that is in Tall Pines. You have showers here, you have laundry here, and of course your bathrooms as well. So there are cabins here in Bonnechere as well that you can rent which most of them are directly on the river or have river access, so they're quite nice. This is one of the cabins, it's called the Fallen Tree Cabin. 
So you do have your little deck area and access directly to the river. So this is the Bonnechere library tree. As you can see there is a canoe up there. But within the tree, you can get your books. It's all the way around the tree. It's just like a, a library, just in the tree. They even have one of the magic machines here. Probably for the younger audience, have no idea what that even is. But the nice thing is, behind me there, there is a little park store. This is also where you get your ice and firewood. So, plus it's located right on the beach. If you want to fill up your water bottle, you can do that here as well. And the hours as of now are eight to nine on the weekends. So at Bonnish here, first of all, keep your dogs on the leash, but that's in every provincial park. But the nice thing about the beach area here is there is literally tons and tons of picnic tables everywhere in the shade overlooking the beach. So on a hot day, like it will be today, um, you know, get a picnic table, hang out at the beach, bring some lunch, have a picnic and just enjoy the view. So behind me is the main beach area. The nice thing is they do have the blue mats here. So it is wheelchair accessible. They actually have like the beach uh, wheelchairs here, which is pretty cool. As you can see, the beach is very sandy, very large. It's a very nice beach overall. So here we're at the boat launch. There is a dock where you can uh, get into your boat. The boat launch itself is right there, and this launches you on the Bonnechere River, which is really great for a paddle. Uh, we'll definitely gonna check it out later. But you can also go to Round Lake, which of course is the main lake here. Also at the store, you can uh, rent your canoes, paddle boards, and the round things there that I'll put up in the video later, what they are called. Over here is the parking lot where you park your vehicle after you launch your boat. And there in the distance is also where the comfort st station is in the Tall Pines area. There's lots to do at the park, including playing basketball. You can also get your beach volleyball in. In Bonnechere, there's one trailer sanitation station. There's one dump spot. And in the same lane there is the water fill up as well. One hose on that end, one hose on that end. Now of course not ideal because if somebody's dumping you can't get water and vice versa and they're very close together. Now if you do use a water filter for fresh water, the hoses are threaded. Even though it's not the largest campground with, uh, with trailers, it does get busy around, you know, typically Sunday around the 2 p.m. time. Uh, there's typically a large lineup, so keep that in mind. So we're in Quillaloo, about 20 minutes from Bonnechere. This is also where the original beaver tail pastry comes from. So, um, you know, if you're at Bonnechere, you want a little snack. It's a nice little town as well. There's a nice park with a covered bridge. So definitely go check it out. So yeah, here's where you can get the beaver tails, you know, the birthplace of the pastry. So uh, yeah, recommend it if you want a quick snack. So after you eat a beaver tail pastry, just across the road is this covered bridge. You have a nice little waterfall down there as well. So you can walk some calories off. It's just a nice little town to explore. There's a playground behind me as well in the park. So again, the kids can burn off the calories as well. I definitely recommend going to Nona and Papa's Fried Truck. This is another sponsored video. The, fit, the food is just excellent. So uh, it's about 15 minutes from the park. So it's not too far. And you get a ton of food for a, a decent price, so definitely recommend it. Place where you can get the food is Nona's and Papa's Fry Truck. Again, not sponsored, just great food. So this is the chicken fingers and fries, and it's like 10 bucks. 
and it fits more than one so you know definitely recommend this place it's amazing another close by park by Bonnichere is Foy Provincial Park it's a non-operating park but uh, let's go check it out we made it to Foy Provincial Park there's no parking you have to park on the road but there is a, a provincial park sign here so it's not too bad to find you just go down Red Rock Road just don't follow Google uh, because it wants you to merge onto Red Rock Road but guess what you can't so just uh, go on Red Rock Road and once you get there there's a gate there that I assume is the entrance um, we'll keep you updated because we've never been here either so we think this is the main entrance to the park but I'll let you know when you're at Foy at the entrance road, apparently the beach is the first right. I'm not sure, again, there's no signage here, so we'll just try it out and see what happens. Three hours later. Going right. The first right after you enter the park is definitely going to the beach. Meanwhile. So this is the beach at Foy Provincial Park. It looks very nice and sandy. Um, since it is a non-operational park, it's not very busy at all. It's a very nice, large, sandy beach. Better than the one at Bonnachere, to be honest. So Foy Provincial Park, I believe, has been closed since 94. Because apparently there wasn't enough demand, but as a result, all the infrastructure is still there. Plus again, it's just a beautiful beach. I kinda wish they would reopen it but maybe not because that way it will just be very busy where right now it's just a hidden gem so you know don't tell anybody about this place so Bonnachere Provincial Park is somewhere over there in the distance so the beach itself compared to Bonnachere is much nicer it's a nice sandy bottom and again you're avoiding the crowds by going to a non-operational park so again definitely recommend it if you're looking for a beach experience For a non-operating park, it's surprising how well this maintains. There's the proper signage. The trails aren't overgrown. There are even garbage facilities here. So even though it's not an operating park, maintenance is still being done, which is nice. So we went here relatively early in the morning. It's just between 12 and noon now. And as you can see, it is filling up rather quickly. So mind you, it is also, we are in a heat wave. It's 30 plus a day and it's a weekend. So, you know, that probably doesn't help either, but uh, you know, still not a bad choice to go to. I would suggest just to go earlier in the morning for this reason. So we're paddling the Bonnachere River. We uh, launched at the boat launch. And paddling on the river is just a nice, quiet, peaceful experience. Lots of people say they see wildlife, we don't, but uh, you know what, maybe today is the day, so uh, you know, stick around and see what you can do on the Bonnachere River. Straight ahead you can see some of the waterfront sites that are in the river loop. There was one here too. So we're gonna go to Turner's Road, which takes you right into Basin Depot in Algonquin, which is one of our favorite things to do here. So literally just outside of the park, if you turn right, there's Turner's Road here. So you wanna hang a left here. So we're doing the Egg Rock Trail. Now when you're driving on Basin Road, there's no real signage other than a little sign over, 
over there. That shows you where the trail is, so just keep your eyes peeled when you're here. It is a short trail, I forgot exactly how long, but uh, I'll put that on the screen right now. It is pretty steep though, so even though it's a short trail, it gets very, very steep. So you get a, a good climb out of it. So we made it to the top of Egg Rock and here you can overlook the valley, which is a very nice view. As you can see, it's a, again, it's a very short trail, but it's steep, it's very steep. Now there's a rock here that you can sit on and just enjoy the view, which is exactly what we did. Down the road, uh, you get to you know very old cabins like this. The trails are pretty good indicated here, as you can see on this trail sign here, which this is the trail that starts by the old cabin. So the other thing down Basin Road, there's just lots of lakes everywhere. Um, last time we were here, we actually brought our kayaks and battled this lake. But it's nice because there's just nobody around. So, you know, if you're looking for some, you know, enjoying nature and not being on top of people, this is probably the spot to be. Um, the other thing is you have spots like this where you can easily, you know, park your truck or vehicle, take your kayaks and launch them here. Haven't encountered a single vehicle. We actually encountered one logging truck, but that's it. So again, great road to go on and not very busy at all. Now one of the neat things about this trail is they're called the footprints in the park. So what you have here, you have logs that essentially teach you about the area. If you have kids or you just want to learn more about the park it's a nice trail to do that the McNaughton trail is about a two kilometer trail it's pretty easy no massive tree roots everywhere oh, we got another sign here so this goes about the mid 1800s the Bonnechere River which is what this trail loops around the Bonnechere River so just an easy easy to do trail again interactive due to the uh, due to the fit program so once you reach this point here the biodiversity and use sign if you go to the right here this loops back to the tall pines in the river loop campground there's a shortcut and the signage is pretty good here and uh, it allows you to learn about the area which is pretty cool as always, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. It really helps to push this video out to, to the YouTube community. So there used to be a bridge here, but unfortunately you can no longer enter there. So we get another post. About the little Bonnachere River, which is right here. So the McNaughton Trail, nothing too special i mean nice little trail but uh, definitely not the best trail um definitely go to a gonquin for that onto turner's road specifically egg rock that's our favorite trail so uh, yeah that's that's the mcnaughton trail so let's talk about bonnachere bonnachere provincial park is a very nice family friendly park it's not too big not too small which makes it not too crowded overall 
But in general, there's just lots to do. There's a boat launch, there's a volleyball court, basketball court. There's a nice little store. Of course, there's a beach. So yeah, lots to do. Now, in general, if you want to have a beach experience, I would definitely recommend going to Foy Provincial Park. It's only about 10 minutes from Bonnesier Provincial Park. The beach itself is much nicer, sandier and Typically, unless you go on the weekends, it's not nearly as busy. From a trail perspective, there's only one trail in the park. However, if you just go outside of the park on Turner's Road, there's tons of trails there. And the nice thing about not having trails in the park is the fact that it's not nearly as busy. So definitely recommend that. So Bonnesier is just a great park. And if you're looking for additional parks to visit this year, why don't you check out this video here where we visit our top six provincial parks in Ontario.